Hey guys, it's Applement. Welcome back again to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing something that I've always wanted to do, which is turn myself into a magical girl. I have had a relationship with magical girl animes ever since I was a wee kiddo. And it, it wasn't, I'm not exactly proud of those moments and um, I kind of look back now and I'm like, what, what was I, um, what was I thinking? Anyway, today I'm going to be imagining myself as a magical girl character. What would my power be? What would I look like? And so that's what we're going to do because this is my anime dream and let me draw it okay? Also, brief reminder, today and tomorrow are the last days to sign up to have a chance to win 36 set concept markers. If you haven't already, go sign up and have a chance to win some beautiful markers. So let's get right into the video and start planning out the outfit. So I want to take a moment to sketch out a few ideas for my drawing and figure out what kind of outfit I want myself or my character of myself to have. So I'm going to come up with three different outfits and then choose the one that I like the best based on what I think fits my personality the best. So this first one, uh, I wanted to go with a bigger skirt. I figured more ruffles, big skirt, something a little bit more girly could look nice. So I wanted to play around with that idea and uh, that's what I went with here. I tried to add some little details uh, and kind of like a little bow in the middle, but almost simulating a butterfly because I think that could be a cute theme to go with. And it also fits the frilly girly theme of the first one. And for the second one, I decided to do something kind of opposite, which was not to do a big skirt at all. Uh, in fact, just go with kind of like a leotard with frills and fringe on it connected by bows at the hips. And normally I wouldn't go for something like this, but I really wanted to see what it would look like on paper as one of my options and didn't want to rule it out till I actually drew it, um, especially since I'm trying to explore different themes here rather than just one similar one. Yeah, I drew that one and it's okay in my opinion. I kept trying to add to it to see if I could get to a point where I liked it, but I don't think it really fits my personality per se. So for the third one, I wanted to take some aspects of both one and two and maybe see if I could combine them in a way. So I wanted to add the skirt back in, but I also wanted to keep some of those frills, kind of like what I had in the second one there on the sides. And so I kind of went more with like an angelic type thing for number three. I figured wings could be a cute theme with a cute little butterfly-ish bow in the middle and lots of um, frills and a nice skirt, but not too poofy. So these are my three options. I sat down and I looked at them. Uh, you guys can tell me your favorite below, but I ended up deciding to go with number three because I felt that that one captured my personality the best because it looks a little bit more dainty. It's still girly like in the first one, but it's not overly girly with the big poofy, fluffy, frilly skirt. I decided I wanted to flesh that out. So now I'm going to choose my art supplies and then we're gonna get into the drawing. So this is the sketchbook slash watercolor pad that I'm going to be using for today's video. This is from Etcher. I just want to say I love their logo. And this one is the 11.4 by 8.3, kind of a weird number, about 11 by 8. It's 230 GSM and I'm just excited to dive right into it. Let's begin sketching. So for my pose, I wanted to utilize the paper being vertical rather than horizontally since I wanted to capture my height because this is me in some regard and I am a tall person. I am five foot eight. I mean, whether you think that's tall or not, I don't know, but people have always told me I'm tall, okay? I'm tall for a girl. <laughs> and for the pose, I wanted to have myself charging up an attack. So basically I kind of imagine my power would be, well, okay, I get two powers because I want two powers. Who says I, I can't? <laughs> and I wanted to be able to fly for one because I mean, that sounds awesome. Who wouldn't want to fly? Maybe some people don't want to fly. I want to fly. And I also really love nature. Uh, but you know, when I say nature, I, I don't necessarily, I'm not imagining my character here to be like a plant lady with like green being the main color theme of my outfit. 
but more on the side of like the fairy, fae, mythical forest kind of theme. Uh, so more pinks, purples, golds, whites. That's the color scheme I was going for rather than greens. Uh, but you know, still representing nature, just a different side of nature. So with that, I drew in outfit number three. <laughs> uh, I added some details like gloves and the socks and uh, also those little frills that you saw that I had in uh, option number two. But instead of having them on my hips, coming there coming from the back of the dress from a bow that would be behind me and then I added in wings which I will fix a bit later on in the drawing I didn't like the way I did that the first time around ended up fixing them making them a little bigger uh, and then I added some butterflies around me so yeah that is the concept for my pose and kind of what kind of magical girl I would be <laughs> So I decided to use, uh, since I'm doing my watercolor sketchbook for this one, I pulled out those $100 watercolors that I got for a video uh, about, I don't know, months ago. I don't, I don't remember what month I drew that video, uh, that I did that artwork in with these paints, but it was the video where I compared the $100 paints to like, I don't know, regular, I don't even remember. See, this is like my terrible memory is coming up on me right now. Usually my memory is pretty good, but today it's, it's just not but you get the point. Uh, and I wanted to pull these out for this drawing because they need more love. I use them sometimes, but like I haven't used them in a video in a while. So that's what I'm going for today. And so, as I said, the color scheme that I decided to go with is light pinks, uh, purple, nice gold color, and some white, you know, th those colors I find very pretty and dainty, which was the outfit design that I went for and I, uh, I felt that these colors matched that that design. I played around with some different combinations of the colors on a separate piece of paper. Originally I was going to have the skirt be white, uh, the dress in the middle I guess be white, and then the little, I don't want to call it like an overcoat because I don't, I don't really know what it what it's called, but that, that white little coat thing with the frills that I'm wearing. That was originally gonna be pink, but I figured that would give that portion too much attention. And I wanted the dress itself in the center to have more of the uh, eye-catching attention. And that's why I switched it. And I, I feel that this looks a lot better since uh, the little coat on top is supposed to have a dainty look since it is, uh, it, it is very like, those frills are more rounded rather than being like the frills on my skirt at the bottom there. I feel like the roundness makes it look a little sweeter, a little calmer. I, my words are not coming out right today. A lot of these things that I'm saying sound okay in my head and when they have to come out in words, they just don't work. <laughs> it's one of those days. Maybe it's because it's like a cloudy, rainy day. I don't know, maybe I'm tired, but I don't know. Now I'm just going off and talking about nothing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was originally going to outline this first in uh, my multi liners before I went in and painted because I do that sometimes and it's it's okay when I do that I mostly do that because I'm impatient like I want to have the line art look okay before I go in and paint because it bothers me when I'm just painting or coloring before lining I hate it because it always looks so weird and unfinished it never looks good until I add the lines <laughs> but I, I don't know sometimes when I do that first I always end up having to touch up certain areas because the paint will be too opaque on some spots and just color right over the line art. So figured this was the best option was to paint first, uh, which most people do. They paint first and then the line. I'm just weird. Um, and so paint first and then go in with my multi-liners, which you'll see in a moment. And I think the multi-liners give this the pop that it really needs because I feel like it looks good, but it's not finished until I actually add those details in. And then I added um, a green sphere behind me, just as like my pop of color, like I like to do. And it matches the little magic orb that I'm holding. And I decided to draw that as, as I said, like it's a nature-esque thing. That one has some uh, little like leaves around it and stuff. I, listen, this is my creative mind. Don't make fun of me. Uh, and then I did my thick, bold outline around the outside of my character. I mean, okay, I don't know if I should refer to this as my character or me. I guess it's me, not my character. But uh, I always like to do that on character drawings like this, just to give it the pop of color, as pop of color, pop, <laughs> that I feel it needs. And yeah, so that was me as a magical girl. 
Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below if I did a good job turning myself into one. And yes, I'm not wearing glasses in my magical girl self because I do have contacts as well. I just don't wear them as often. So yeah, if I'm, if I'm a super person, you know, I, I'm wearing contacts. So there you go. <laughs> no plot holes there. Anyway, that's me as a magical girl. Let me know what you think of how I did in the comments below. And now on to my final thoughts. That is me as a magical girl and what I would hopefully imagine myself to look like. If you guys like the outfit design and what I came up with for myself, let me know in the comments below and if you think it matches my personality. Uh, I'm kind of weird but I like nature and things like that so I feel like that would be a good match for me and I'm a weeb so you know. Anyway, all of my links are in the description box below. I have a link to my online shop where you can find all of my pins, prints, charms, everything that I create is there in the shop link below. I also have the link to my Instagram where you can follow me to see all of the artwork I create on a day-to-day -day basis and things that I don't always post here on the channel. And then I also have the link to my Amino below if you'd like to join the community and post your art, make friends, share things. Uh, it's a fun place to hang out. and. So over 20,000 of us now, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, go join the community if you're interested. Again, guys, don't forget to sign up for this giveaway. It's free to all US residents and it ends in just a few days. So go check it out if you have not already. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you all next Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern as always. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.